All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the one. Cheers. Salute. Salute, everybody. Salute to everybody out there. So cheers. Welcome to the 100th. I can't believe I'm actually saying that out loud. 100th episode of Zero Dark Nerdy, a fun journey that we started about two years ago. Um, and it's been fantastic. You know, before we get started, I want to give gigantic, massive shout outs to our family. Families, our, our close friends, um, everyone that supported us, all the fans across the, uh, honestly, the world that have been listening in, which is, which is uh, crazy. You know, we got fans in New Zealand, Australia, um, Italy, Brazil. It, it's, it's, uh, it's incredible. We're just growing more and more every day. So we definitely appreciate the love. Um, you know, 100 episodes is massive for a, for a TV show, let alone a podcast. I mean, I know that we're not going to get canceled unless we do it ourselves, but still it's, uh, it's been, it's been quite the journey. We've picked up some, some, uh, new recruits along the way. So, you know, of course, big ups to, uh, to Saba, Don and Matthew for joining me from the beginning, Matthew, this was like right in the middle of, of your heart, the getting the plates in, I believe. I still had stitches and shit. Yeah, it was, it was raw. It was yeah. raw. I was still in bed. You yeah. came to visit me. There you go. And you said, I want to, I want to do this podcast. <laughs> All right. What do you want to talk about? Yeah, pop culture, basically whatever we want. Yeah. I want to do that with you. <laughs> yeah. Yep. He literally shot out of bed. <laughs> and I was worried that he was going to tear his stitches. <laughs> <laughs> so from there, it went, it went to Saba, it went to Don. Um, Jordan joined us. I believe he actually, and Jordan in true fashion, signed up like the week before after talking to him for about a month. And then, uh, you know, we ended up uh, picking up Tim, Nicole, Courtney, and Dennis who were on with us. And it's been a great journey. And uh, I, I, like I said, I, I couldn't be more thankful for you guys. So <clears> let me thank each and every one of you individually for 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 joining me on this journey and uh yeah so um you know we'll go ahead and and, uh, and start with uh with don just you know kind of first impressions what you thought about this whole craziness you know favorite episodes and all that and we're just we're just kind of go around the around the horn as they say who says that oh brown oh. <laughs> people do <laughs> okay. gm yeah <laughs> Well, as as far as as far as my uh, you know initial reactions, I was I couldn't believe it. You uh, you reached out to us and and you let us know, hey, you, we you were passionate about these you know certain things. We were already going to conventions and stuff, and you're like, hey, I really want to put a, a podcast together. And so uh, I was very honored to 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 be on it with you. And um, I really love. Uh, I'm I'm actually uh, sporting some of the. Odin, Odin. Ooh. Odin Brew, I just picked up. Uh, sure. Big up to Odin Brewing. I uh, really love, uh, uh, you know, what this has become. You know, not only is it um, a podcast that we can share our feelings, you know, our thoughts about, you know, this nerdy thing, that nerdy thing, but it's branched out into like real life events. You know, like uh, I'm thinking back to our um, our Game of Thrones bar crawl. You know, that was amazing. Uh, how many people did we have on that, Brian? So, yeah, we, we, I, you know, with starting it off, I was like, if we have all of us plus like 20 people, this is a success. And um, we ended up having a hundred people for that, for that bar crawl, which was yeah, so people. much fun. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I think you had the most fun out of all of us though, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know, I think you're right. I think I, uh, I think I was, uh, I was done maybe uh, stop two, maybe, but you know, I, I continue my time, you know. Yeah. Uh, there were pictures of me in a throne. I don't remember being in. <laughs> uh, what happened? What happened? I don't know. So <laughs> but no, the uh, the events then turned into uh, like trivia nights. Like we took over for Ian. Big up to Ian. Uh, we took over for Ian over at um at Stumbles, and then we kind of just parlayed that into you know trivia night most of the week. You know, hosted by Zero Dark Nerdy. So. Uh, those these experiences that you you can you can't replace. Um, I love being out in the community and having fun with the uh, you know local nerds. And uh, as far as favorite episodes, um, bloopers really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember blooper. <laughs> Black looper. Black looper. <laughs> Has anybody even seen it? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. I saw it. I, I, seen it. <laughs> I don't know a single person that has seen that movie. Gemini, Gemini Man. Yeah. I saw it. <laughs> It's not Black uh, Looper. 
Yeah. <laughs> right. Blooper. Like it's it, it uh, it'll forever be blooper. Like no matter what anybody says. Right. And so, uh, but no, and then uh, my favorite episodes were probably when uh, Brian and I got to interview uh, Trackstar the DJ uh, the first go round. Uh, can't believe that we got up with him and he responded to our, you know, messaging and, you know, he, he's all about finding, you know, the, you know, as long as you're quality, I, I don't have to know about you or people don't have to know about you. If you're quality, I'm going to put you out there. And that's kind of what we do. And it's really, you know, admirable. Like he'll, he'll pull people from, you know, uh, SoundCloud. And if it sounds good, he'll play it on his show. And, uh, you know, I couldn't believe that he, um, was willing to talk to us. And then he talked to us again uh, about RTJ four here recently. So, uh, those are my, uh, you know, favorite, um, favorite moments from the show. Nice. Nice. Matthew, um, you know, what about you? And also tell people, you know, just, in, you know, for new fans that may not have, you know, been listening into the first 20 episodes or so, you know, just about kind of your journey, everything that you had going on, you know, why you weren't there for like, I think it was maybe episode six, you came in, something like that. But, you know, let people know just kind of, you know, your thoughts and everything about the show and then everything going on with you. Okay. Um, <laughs> He's like, how much time you got? <laughs> in 2017, I had a heart transplant. Um, I fell ill in 2016, October 2016, automatically. It was like out of the blue. Uh, nobody knew why. The doctors still don't know why. They say it was a virus, which means they don't know. Uh, you know, so my heart failed. My original heart failed, and it's gone. I don't know where it is. I don't know where I got this one from. Not yet. Um, I would like to reach out to that family and maybe do something along the lines of this, yeah. you know, um, in, in terms of, uh, depending on how cool they are, you know, but, um, I, yeah, I went through a heart transplant and every foreseeable and unforeseeable, um, complication that came with it. So instead of six weeks, I was in the hospital for 10 months and for 10 months until now, um, and still I'm going through recovery. Mm -hmm. Um, but that, you know, you came to me, you came to the hospital to see me, mm -hmm. which was big, you know, and, you know, I've known Brian since high school, you know, I our moms know. are cool, <laughs> <laughs> our sisters are cool, our sisters are cool, so it's like, it, it's, it's family, and at the same time, we, we bullshit about the same shit, and why not, you know what I mean, I need an outlet, you need an outlet, let's have fun, and, um, I really appreciate you thinking about me in that aspect, um, thinking that I could provide and uh, be, be some, something of a contribution. Um, so, yeah, I, was it episode six? I thought it was like four, yeah, but I, I don't know. It might have been. Yeah, yeah. But at any rate, um, that first episode was like, you know, we had so much fun. Yeah. And one of the very first things I said was, a.k.a., now you can't read. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's how Sable liked me. <laughs> that's how I got Sable to like me. And all you guys are family, man. Everybody. Like, this is, this is a brotherhood. And I go to the bat for any of you. I need you to know that, all of you. Um, uh, as far as favorite episodes, uh, I guess I'll go with favorite moments. Like, my first. Yeah. Outing as far as um, post transplant was go to see Big Boy with you guys. We met Big Boy and Sleepy Brown. Uh, we got signatures and all that pictures. Uh, you got kicked out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it took two dudes to fucking lift me out, out of that place. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't lying. He ain't lying. <laughs> he ain't lying. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's almost like a seamless, effortless gel. You know, yeah. like we all fuck with the same things, and if we don't, we all recognize each other's standpoints and views, and we all post at the end and get fucked up. Let's go. There you go. Oh. Love, love. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, and uh, you know, one of the things I, I've always said to you know everybody that's on the show, whether you know old or new school, um, there's not a doubt in my mind that you know that to me. You know, this may sound cliche or whatever, but, you know, I, I like the RZA, I wanted to build a, a podcast Wu-Tang Clan per se, 
to where everybody could go off and, you know, if they wanted to do their own like solo thing or, or whatever, you know, whether, you know, it's Dennis with video games, Courtney with cosplaying, Jadon with the Funkos, you know, Matthew with the vinyl and uh, NW Bro. You have to put some confidence stuff. in me. I'll tell you that. What's that? You have to put some confidence in me as far as like public speaking. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not with yeah. that. I don't give a shit with people. You know, yeah. like, I'm, I'm an introvert. Well, and, I mean, that's funny you say that, too, because you, myself, you know, and and, uh, and Saba, and even a little bit of Jadon, too, and then uh, Nicole's mentioned this before as well, you know, like, uh, as, as extroverted as, as we may seem, we're, we're very much introverted. Like, I'm not a huge fan of public speaking at all by any means. I would honestly probably buckle in front of an audience of 100 people. It was hard for me just to DJ at bars let alone have a podcast and I would still get nervous. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then I just noticed the pin on your, on your shirt there, Matthew. I, I love it by the way. Galactus. Yeah. The Galactus pin. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's massive. <laughs> That's my guy. That's my guy. <laughs> so what were your first thoughts, impressions and all that? And I still remember the first conversation we had yeah, about it. That stumbles. stumbles. Yeah. You know, we, we talked about it a couple times and, it was one of those things where I was just like, yeah, you know, whatever, I'm a man, we'll do it. And we kind of didn't talk about it for, I don't know, maybe a month. And then one day I got a call to come and meet Brian and his boy for lunch. We went to B-Dubs. And- <laughs> That's right. I forgot. That was the boy. That was, that was me. <laughs> that was me. That was the boy. <laughs> but Jerry was there and we kind of just talked about it and went in there and we did it. I think, um, you know, it, it hasn't always been easy. I think that we all go through the longer you're associated with this, you know, you know, I mean, Mm -hmm. you, you, you commit probably the most time out of anybody. It's, it takes a lot of work. Uh, And, and, you know, when, when you have a career or or family things or, or health issues or anything like that going on, it becomes tough, but it's an escape. It's, it's, it's a, it's a way to express ourselves. I, I, to nobody's surprise, do enjoy speaking publicly. <laughs> um, I do it for I do it for my job, yeah. you know. So I've been yeah. doing that for years. But this this has absolutely helped. Um, you know, one of the things that I tell the people that I work with, everybody's like, "Wow, you you know, when you when you get up on stage or when you're we do a po- a, web, a webinar at work, you know, you speak so well." One of the things I say is, "I, do, I speak well because I do so well." I do. <laughs> yeah, very, very well, I'm very well spoken. Right? Oh, good. <laughs> no, but it's like you just got to get on there and you do it. And you, you notice that everybody, you know, over time has just gotten a lot more confident. The conversation has become a lot yeah. more crisp. I mean, we this is almost a professional uh, situation here. And, and almost. Almost. You know, almost. <laughs> I mean, it was good. For, it was good out of the gate, but you mm-hmm. know, I think we owe a lot of that to you for just sort of kind of keeping the ball rolling, even in times when some of us were just like, "Man, I don't want to do this today," <laughs> or "I don't want to do this this week," or you know, I'm I've been away for a month or two, and I don't want to get back into it. So, you know, when I when I I'll answer this. Uh, uh, what my favorite episodes are two different ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, first, I'll say uh, I actually enjoy, believe it or not, uh, the, the episodes that I'm not on. Right. I enjoy the episodes I'm not on because I choose not to be on topics that I that I don't know about. Right. So when I listen in, it helps me learn about. Now, I don't listen to the horror ones because <laughs> scary movies, um, <laughs> nightmares. But outside of that, um, you know, I would say that the ones that are my favorite are the ones that that I'm not on. But the absolute my absolute favorite episode is, is the next one. Right, it's it's always yeah. We do oh, that was clever because <laughs> it's always better. We always do better. We always get crisper. The transitions are always cleaner. The content's always sharper. We challenge ourselves, not even like openly, but sort of subconsciously. We all challenge each other to have better content, to be better prepared. Um, so yeah, I think the next episode is always my favorite. Awesome, my man. Awesome. It's it's been a like I said, it's it's been a fantastic jersey, journey. I I learned so much from each and every one of you on every episode, and <laughs> you know, the, um, I always love to to sit back and and let you guys kind of go off on your own thing. 
And then, you know, as we talked about, as the journey has continued, you know, we brought on some new people, a couple of them, uh, Tim and Nicole, you know, they're busy with the family. They couldn't make it. Uh, Jordan's being Jordan. So we'll, we'll get them the next one. But um, we, pro we probably wouldn't want them. The next one hundred episodes, we'll get them. Yeah. True. We'd have to edit out more than like 80% of the episode. They go from R rated to triple X. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden you see this on Pornhub. <laughs> So, um, you know, before we get to Courtney, and I'm not trying to make ladies last, I'm just going in order. You know, Dennis, uh, I've known Dennis for a while now from the DJing days at Corner Bar. We ended up working together at, at Tech Systems and just realized that we had a lot in common, what, you know, pop culture wise, video game wise. And I was like, you know what? Come on in, you know, especially on the video game stuff and, and have some fun. So, Dennis, like, what's kind of your feedback as far as before you joined and after you joined and, and all that? I'd say before I joined, it was kind of funny because touching on like basically what everybody was talking about where you're sitting there and you're like, well, I don't want to sound like a, like a dumbass or like, I don't want to like, you know what I mean? Or like say the wrong thing or say this or say that. And so I remember asking you like all these questions, like, all right, so like, do I talk this close? Do I, you know, do I back up? Like, <laughs> do I wait to someone else to talk? And I was like trying to, I didn't know if there was like, you know, like podcast etiquette. Right. So it was kind of like a, uh, we have none. If yeah, and, <laughs> and I'm listening back to old episodes and I was like, oh, I could do this. Okay. I could do this. And, um, and, you know, just like you said, it's just kind of, you know, being able to, you know, just talk about things openly and kind of get feedback from other people and people's feedback from around the world is just, it's a cool experience and cool just to, you know, kind of shout out and, and talk about what you want to talk about as opposed to, you know, making it so scripted where like, you know, you know how it goes. You, you're not in there like, all right, we're, you make sure you talk about this, make sure you talk for 30 seconds. You're not doing any of that. So it's, it's, <laughs> no. it's nice where it's like, you can, you know, kind of have your format and everything like that. Um, you know, me being new for a favorite part, or I guess not a favorite episode. I say my favorite part would be one of the more recent ones I was on. We were, it was when we were still in the studio before all the COVID stuff hit. And in the old store in that studio, the mics, uh, headphones were wrapped around those, uh, the mic stands. Yeah. And I remember I said something or like someone, like someone made me laugh or whatever. And I jolted back and leaned back to start <laughs> laughing. And that thing like just crumbled and you can hear it on the episode. It's like, and you're and also, I'm like sitting there like frozen. I'm like, did I just break something? And you're just like, well, I did it out. We're good. Don't even stress about it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep so, Keep <laughs> it's like it's cool to see you know like memories like that behind the scenes um you know little things like that where you know it, it's fun and i'm happy i hopped on i really appreciate you letting me hop on and you know excited for the future and you know for whenever you know we can stop doing you know zoom meetings and, and do those face-to-face -face interactions again you know i'm definitely excited for that as well excellent excellent brother and like i said we're, we're definitely uh Glad to have you. Courtney, what were your, you know, kind of first impressions? Because I remember we were kind of going back and forth a little bit. Yeah, but uh, even before <laughs> you and I were talking about stuff, the first time I was unofficially asked to join the podcast, uh, Matt was at the GOAT one night. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I almost got in trouble because I went to go pick up glasses from the patio and we ended up getting sucked into a nerdy conversation for so long. I thought I was going to get fired. <laughs> you were told like, that. He's like, what do you think of the new Spider-Man? I, I, yeah, I don't know how much of this you remember, but, <laughs> 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 but I was working. So I was, you know, but he's like, what do you think of the new Spider-Man? And I just went on this spiel about like all the different Spider-Man actors. And he's like, that's literally what we talked about on our podcast. <laughs> it's like, you should do it. And I'm like, I really like talking. So if you want to stick a microphone in front of me, I'm not going to say no. And then it just kind of, yeah, it was like a running joke. And then I ended up talking to you and we kind of figured stuff out. And then it like actually happened. And I will totally take credit for all of that. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, it just kind of happened, and I love it. It's great, and thank you guys for making the mistake of putting a microphone in front of me. <laughs> oh, well. Happy mistakes. Yes. There are no mistakes, right? That's right. As for Bob Ross. <laughs> I'm a happy accident. Happy accident. <laughs> <laughs> as far as favorite moments, I mean, 
mean, to me, to me, there are so many. I mean, from the first episode with with Jordan coming into it with no knowledge at all. Jesus is uh, on this show. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and I mean, especially uh, what, what made what made me feel really great too was the support from you know because Matthew, you weren't on the episode yet. Your feedback. I mean, I know Sabo was getting calls. I was yeah. getting calls from Flipside and Ian. Um, you know, people and, and Amy and Tila. So big shout outs to all those guys. You know, they were just like, man, you, you guys have something here. And, uh, you know, that was, of course, just just satisfying. And yeah, I mean, we have we have some hits and misses just like any any show does. But to me, um, you know, that, of course, that's one of my first favorite moments. The blooper one is fantastic. And what I love about the blooper clip, though, and if you're on uh, if you follow us on Instagram, I believe it's one of our highlights on the Zero Dark Nerdy page. It's hearing Stan and Jamie in the background laughing, <laughs> fucking banshees. I fucking miss Stan. Oh my god, I do. And you know, I'll take this time out too to shout out everybody we've worked with: Robert, Robert, uh, Robert. Brody at Press Play, Stan and Jamie over at On the One Studios. <sighs> you know, big shout out to anyone that's ever been on the show: Jay Timber. Jay Timber. Uh, Michael Turek. I think Michael Turek was like our first in studio guest, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Besides, he was, a, uh, he was our first here. actual interview. Yeah, yeah, and that was just cool and flat. Yeah, wasn't Brian together? Because I had no, I had, I'd never met or heard of Michael Turek before. And Flathers uh, was like, "Hey, do you watch that show Ozark?" And I was like, "Yeah, I love that fucking show." And he was like, "Well, you know the dude Ash? He was like, yeah, he lives here in Greensboro, and, and yada yada yada." So. Big ups to Flathers hooking that up, and of course, big big ups to uh, Michael Turek. But anyone that's that's been on the show, been interviewed, and of course, a lot of the cosplayers, Avant, Avant Geek, man, yeah, Avant, Avant Geek, Geek, Geek interview, that was amazing. I'm so yeah. sad I was not here for that, know, and it's gonna have to happen there'll again. Be there'll be others. Yeah. yeah, right. We got <laughs> pocket size cosplay was another one. Oh, and how can we forget our girl uh, Sarah Harley? So yeah, and Harley, yep. Yep, our friend from Brazil who Brazil. moved to Paris. So, no shit. <laughs> now. She's an international traveler that way. I'd like to think we had something to do with yeah. that. Yeah, we had this we have. event. Um, you know, the, the Game of Thrones bar crawl was fantastic, but to me, uh, it was really fantastic getting everything Hot together. Hot fuck that day. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was. But honestly, Matthew's benefit, though, is, is my favorite Zero Dark Nerdy event. Uh, I was, I was, I was doing other things. Saba, Don, and everybody else was able to hold down the um, the table for the raffles. We sold for so us. many fucking. Yeah, I think that's tickets. the most raffle tickets I've ever seen sold ever. And just seeing the love from, I mean, Matt, you had we me. had we had John and that was me. Everybody come in from out of town for you. that. So you know, Stumbles was just slammed, and it was it was so great to just see all the love. And uh, my sister, no, actually, anyway, my sister say hello. They're they're on Facebook, and they're like, "Bring up Matthew's benefit." So, oh. <laughs> he is, uh, is one of my favorites. I think you know you talk about we being able to do other things. Yeah, you know we've we've since started a sports podcast that, that we do, and a couple of weeks ago we had a fucking four and a half hour mm. nonstop live stream for the NFL draft that yeah. Yeah, was well attended yeah got a lot of really positive feedback on it so I mean it's just like it's 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 crazy yeah what you know this has has brought to um you know our lives and it's just I don't know man I just fucking love it I don't know what else yeah I mean, we're we're the next bar stool in my eyes, and well, it'll always be that way. <laughs> you're you're no fucking Dave Portnoy. No, I'm not. That. No, I'm not. <laughs> Is that a direct so shot? Getting, you know, getting into into this year, obviously, it's it's not been the greatest year ever. The funny thing is, when the year first started, I put up this post on Reddit, where it was um, a meme from the office, and it's um, homeboy that's in the warehouse. I can't name. Carol. No, not Daryl, but the oh. one, the one that, that Dwight brought in to take care of the beehive, Nate. Nate, Nate. 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 So it's where it's where he's talking shit to um, the temp, and he's like, and it, it, you know, of course, the meme is not the temp. It's like, hey, I don't even, you know, he's like, not even knowing 2020, uh, I'm gonna pick 2020 over you. And it, of course, the meme is is Ryan as a temp as 2019. But so 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 that meme, long story short, is not done well this year. <laughs> but either way, <laughs> it's not it's not stood the test of time, as they said. 
Um, so what is something that stands out to each of you? And we'll go down the same order. We'll start with Jerry, just as far as 2020, whether, you know, a favorite show, favorite movie, favorite album, you know, video game, and just kind of go down the line as far as the few highlights we have. I mean, besides, of course, getting more time with our families. And by the way, big shout out to all the essential workers out there. Everybody, you know, doctors, nurses, medical field, first responders, um, you know, if you're working at Target, Walmart, whatever you're doing, thank you so much for everything that you're doing. So huge. Shout out to my nurse, Deborah. You guys met her at Jordan's show. She's still yeah. working. She's in the thick of shit. So, you know, you got you to gotta think about these people and they're, what they're risking every single day, you know. Exactly. Exactly. <gasps> Very true. So big shout out to other people. We are going to take a quick little time out for Andrew Newman, attorney at law. We just needed that for the podcast. <laughs> so, Jerry, we'll go ahead and start with you. We're not going to really take a time out, but I needed that for the podcast. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, uh, as far as stuff that's come out in 2020, I mean, we haven't really had a lot uh, yet. I mean, we've had some stuff come out, but, you know, for the most of it, we've just been like locked down and we've been, you know, looking at stuff we hadn't uh, normally uh, looked at. Um, that's not my case. I kind of like go towards what I like and what I liked that came out in 2020 was the last season of star Wars clone wars. Um, it, it's on Disney plus it was canceled way back when, and then Disney plus, uh, oh, Lord. uh redid it and they gave us a, um, no spoilers, no spoilers. No, I swear. Oh, I Thank swear. you. I had to say no that. Spoilers. Thanks. No spoilers, <clears throat> but I will say, um, I'm, in an <laughs> oh my I god! Joined in. What's up, you bitches? Is there anything more Jordan than this? <laughs> Look at that hip in it. You're such a rock star. <laughs> wow. This is how we showed up at trivia the other night. <laughs> this is true. Just out of the blue. <laughs> Half hour late looking like it is. <laughs> wow. Outside my window. What am I like, what am I like an hour late? <laughs> oh, oh Jesus! We Something like that, yeah. Right, well, let, we got we got to lay Jada on finish. Oh, sure. great! Y'all say hi to Kill. Oh, <laughs> hey, but no, uh, my, oh I, Saba! Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did she say Saba? Like the? Yeah, uh, I went ahead. I went ahead and muted them. Saba. <laughs> oh, they're just talking. <laughs> just talking. Saba. <laughs> <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead, Jerry. I know uh, uh, Star Wars, Star Wars Clone, Clone Wars, the very last uh, season. Uh, they gave us an extra season. Uh, they finished the story, so to say. Uh, those last four episodes, if you liked uh, Return Revenge of the Sith, watch those uh, last four episodes. They tie in with what's going on uh, Revenge of the Sith. It makes it a better movie. Thank you, Dave Filoni. Uh, can't wait to see all of your cartoon characters in Mandalorian and uh, uh, other Star Wars shows to come. That shit Excited. is my is my favorite 2020 thing so far, for sure. All right, all right. Man, that, was the, that was the zero dark nerdiest answer. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, what's, what's your uh, favorite thing in 2020 so far? Uh, we got a lot of, there's a few things. Um, I wrote them down. Uh, we got to see the finale of Power in 2020, okay. which was really, really good. Like, I expected it to, like, you know, finales, us and finales. It's like, this one actually set up for more. Like, um, uh, the kid Tommy's going to have his own show. The little kid's going to have his own show. 50's going to have another show. He already has a show on ABC. I haven't watched yet, um, but I heard this pretty good. And I expected Don to mention this one, but Midnight Gospel. Ooh. It's so fucking good and yes. so necessary for 2020. Um, so the dialogue good. is nonstop for 20 minutes straight, but you catch everything, and it all makes sense, and you learn, and you it's insight. You have to watch Midnight Midnight Gospel. It's um, super, oh, sorry, go ahead. You and I talked <laughs> about this, uh, Dave, Lil Dicky. Lil Dicky, that last episode was incredible. Um, but he, he's not acting. Like, he's yeah. just being himself, which is so dope. Um, and I'm into a lot of, um, like, true crime shit. And also, I do NW Bros, so I'm a little into wrestling shit. So there's this thing called Dark Side of the Ring, and it comes on Vice. It's true crime within wrestling like WWE wrestlers that like murder people or 
the Benoit episode. Hey, it should happen. It should happen. And, you know, that, that shit's, like, incredible. They had a season before, but this year was the new season. And... It's a lot of murder wrestlers. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Dark Side of the Ring. And, yeah, Dave, Midnight Gospel. Also, The Undertaker's Last Ride. That's on uh, WWE Network. If you want to know more about him and his whole, like, I think it's going to lead up to his, like, final, finally retirement shit. But is it, is it's it good though? to see behind the scenes and stuff <laughs> of that guy. Like, he's, he's a legend. He is. He is. I just remember going, physically going to that WrestleMania yeah. with Saber. It was supposed to be his final match. And of course it was, it was not. Well, I, I, like I want to, I want to rephrase that. He didn't go with me. <laughs> we were both fucking dragged. <laughs> we were dragged there. Jordan was dragged to that shit. So I, I just, I wasn't like, Hey Brian, you want to go? That was the worst experience. experience. I, I just want to clarify. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> So, uh, so what are some of your 2020 highlights? Yeah, it, it's funny. I, I'm sitting here and I'm trying to think. I've been doing a lot of rewatching. Um, I'd say probably the best movie I've seen, and it's um, so far this year, Ford versus Ferrari. Probably uh, I watched that probably about a month ago, maybe six weeks ago. Acting, you know, Christian Bale always puts on a great performance. Matt Damon was really good as. Uh, as uh, Carol Shelby in that. So movie wise, uh, video games, I've been playing a lot of different video games. Most of that call of duty. I've been playing a lot of NBA 2K 20. So I've been doing a lot of that uh, in my free time. Uh, TV shows. Oh, God, I've been watching so much, but like the one that kind of snuck up on me that I watched that I like the best is altered carbon. I blew through the two seasons of that in about, I don't know. Which season is better? I think the second season's better, ah. but it's only because I like Anthony Mackie. I, I, I really like Anthony Mackie. <laughs> you think Captain America? Ah, what? Yeah. <laughs> um, what? I do. I like him. But I think all, all, all kind of, um, with having said all of that and all those areas of, of media, I think the best thing that's happened in 2020 so far as a byproduct of COVID and coronavirus is all the live IG shit that's been happening. Mm -hmm. um, all just the DJs and all that? Like Quest Love's doing a, a set. Mm -hmm. The um, battle? The whole, yeah. the whole OK Player crew, Black Thought, all those guys doing interviews all the time. Uh, Dave Portnoy, we talked about uh, El Prez from Barstool doing this unboxing thing where people are just sending him random <laughs> shit and he cuts open boxes for like five hours a night. It's fucking, <laughs> it pulls out like samurai swords, all kinds of, <laughs> people send him goldfish. Send and, us that shit. Yeah, it's nuts. So, you know, obviously the verses between um, Ariza and DJ Premier, I know there was one between Luda and Nelly uh, that that I don't think was, was that great, but uh, you know, I, I think all the live IG stuff that's been happening over the last two, two and a half months has just been, it's been priceless, man. Like, it, this shit we're never going to get back. Like, it'll yeah. never, hopefully, it'll never happen again. Uh, maybe they set a new standard. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. You know, I, we'll see. I, I, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Now, good good call on the IG stuff. Um, you know, I don't have too much, like, new stuff that I thoroughly enjoyed. I mean, I'm not saying I've, I've hated everything. You know, I'm always rewatching The Office, like, 200 times a day and all, and all that other shit. But, you know, Tiger King was, was fucking amusing for all of a week, and the memes were, were I great. I didn't watch it. So uh, it's I've just one either. of those things. It was, it was the bird box of 2020. Bird that's, box. Yeah. Which, <laughs> that was mean. That's mean to bird box. Damn. No, no, no. I'm saying, though, that. I'm talking about it the memes, good. though. Don't do that. that. The Still memes. We can hear him. Like. <laughs> no, no, he's he's unmuted now. <laughs> the, the memes helped make Bird Box what it was, and that's, that's what it did for Tiger King. So that's what I mean by that. Bird Box, I actually enjoyed, but that's ne that's neither here nor there. Um, you know, besides that, uh, the one thing I am looking forward to when we finally have a release date and big shout out to Trackstar the DJ. That episode came out last week. RTJ Four coming out June fourth. Is it June fourth or June fifth? Ooh, la, la. Uh, should be fourth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fourth. But um, they already released two bangers, Ooh La La, um, and then uh, Taking the Brave. The Brave. 
So I am very, very hyped for this album. I also really like the new um, uh, Joiner Lucas. Lucas album. That one's actually pretty damn good, to be honest with you. So I am not happy that uh, Takashi 6 9 is out of prison, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Hopefully he stops making music, but we'll see. No, he's not going to. Lamb of God. Lamb of God is also putting out a new album soon. Memento Mori on June fourteenth. I want to say what? maybe thirteen. The whole thing. Well, Jordan. So now yes. we're up. So what are what are some of your highlights of twenty twenty, including of course Final Fantasy seven? <laughs> well, <laughs> Final Fantasy seven <VII laughs> remake is great. It's one. Of, it's one of the better. It's one of the better. Final Fantasy games that I've ever played because the 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 actual combat system is better than I mean usually what I was turned on to Final Fantasy is the turn based system mm. so it's not that anymore per se it's it's a great combat system the, the the graphics are blow your mind stature and it just it, it rekindles everything you remember about the game that I played when I was fourteen maybe younger. And, um, but it changes things. So like, so what we originally thought was that the remake was going to be, it was just going to be each segment in different episodes, which is still going to be different episodes. But at the end of, at the end of this, at the end of this episode. <laughs> like Roku. Like, no, I'm laughing at him pouring his entire Roku bottle in his cup. I just, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were laughing at his this pink Hawaiian shirt. Not this random. time, no. But, but no, um, so it's, so we thought it was going to be the, the, the same story told, like just completely from front, from front to finish, just remastered and shit, but it's not. It's going to be like a different, well, I mean, spoiler alert, hey, here we are, the multi-pop, but uh, we haven't used that <laughs> name. <laughs> well, I mean, that's how we started. That's how we started. <laughs> That's how you know he's grown episodes. too much. So, it's a good one. I digress. Okay. So it's it's um it's amazing. Visuals are amazing, and it and it changes the story just enough so that you want. Like I, now, I want to know where it's going to go because I thought it was just going to be the same game, verbatim, just better graphics, but it's not. Gotcha. So right now on the PlayStation Store, I don't know if it's Xbox because you know I don't really pay attention to Xbox and whatever it shitty does. But um, here we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm just saying that on the PlayStation Store. There were multiple discounts for all of the Final Fantasy games, like uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 2, um, 11, uh, you get it. You get, you get numbers. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So you know how numbers I bought, work. <laughs> I, bought, I, bought three, I bought three of the games, and um, I'm playing through nine now, which is the most childish of them. And um, I'm about probably – I think I'm about 50 hours in, and I have, 10, I have 12 after this, but I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> hey, we appreciate I warned you I was wasted, man. We appreciate your feedback, <laughs> as always. We, got, we, got, we, got to, we do have to keep moving, though, a little yeah. bit. <laughs> so, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure I'm be able to follow that up. Uh, 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 You're going to be okay. No. <laughs> so funny. You know what's so funny? I was waiting for him to be like, I forgot what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> All right. Did you mute him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You muted him. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> All right. So 2020 so far, um, obviously uh, Warzone being released um for call of duty that's that's definitely been keeping me keeping me busy uh through uh all the you know different days of just doing nothing you're like oh, i'll just hop on and play or whatever um as far as tv show i didn't want to like it but on netflix the outer banks i i don't know yeah. what it is but i like i 
I do. I found myself like constantly like oh, bringing little things up and like right. saying, I'm like, I'm like, it's not that good of a show. And I'd be like, Hey, did you know that John B actually was looking? And I'm like, I'm like, what am I doing? And I'm, like, and I'm just, at this point, I'm just accepting it. I'm yep. just, I'm just accepting it. It's, it's a new school OC in my opinion, if anybody. <laughs> it is West, it's West Side Stories, West Side Story meets Goonies. Uh, dude, it, like true. And did you ever, yep. did you ever watch the OC? No. Oh, okay. So literally oh, yeah. it's, it's rich girl in, in, in a relationship with another rich guy falls in love with not so rich kid. And then they become a couple. I'm like, this is literally I'm like, how is this not the OC? Yeah, but it's on the outer bay. <laughs> and, a, and, there's a tre- and there's a treasure hunt going on. So, okay. All right. Uh, they, they take a ferry to Chapel Hill. It's, Ta- it's completely accurate. Yeah. <laughs> the Outer Banks, the Outer Banks of Charleston, South Carolina. Um, but <laughs> um, you take a ferry to Chapel Hill. I'm like, yeah. And then, and then uh, our TV show that we've been watching, Prodigal Son, on uh, Fox. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, we've been that that uh, finished up at season finale. So definitely, I'm really curious as to what their like release schedule is because they'll be like have like six weeks in a row and all of a sudden they'll take two weeks off and you're like, wait, so is that like the finale? And they're like, Oh no, we're, we're coming back on, on in two weeks. And you're like, okay. All of a sudden they'll do like three more episodes and then they take like two more weeks off and you're like, what, what is going on? Like, are you guys like having scheduling conflicts or like, what, like, what is the deal here? But I still love the show. Thought it was great. And then the last thing I watched uh, recently, we got Disney plus. So I watched that onward movie. I was like, wow. I was like, that was actually I was like a pretty good. That pick was it Pixar? I think it was Pixar. Yeah, Pixar. Yeah, I was. I was like, that's a pretty solid movie too. So, those were those are pretty much my 2020 highlights. And the one thing I'm looking forward to for sure is the Tony Hawk Pro Skater remakes. Oh, yeah. there he goes. He's so <laughs> he's so, yeah, he's so we talked about it the other day. We talked about it too. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun for 20 minutes. Shake my hand on it. <laughs> You'll lose interest. <laughs> You're unmuted now. You're good. I, I, I'm going to respectfully disagree, Mr. PlayStation. <laughs> I, I disagree. With you about I will say this. To pick okay. up off of, Dennis, what you were saying about just sort of the, the, the – you can't really predict when these shows are coming out. I hope, like, fucking James Cameron is editing Avatar 2 right now. Like, <laughs> like, He's like, on four right now. all Three these years. fucking yeah. movies that take, like, nine years to make that they've already shot that they got to go back and yep. Yep. I hope they're fucking working on that shit right now because the reality is this. Let's say this thing, you know, stretches out for a couple more months or if we go back through some shit or whatever. Like, there could be – like, there's just <laughs> – there's not going to be anything new to put out. You know, so it's like these people need to start working on that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I was, I was watching that uh, that EDC live stream. It's still actually still going on right now. But they were interviewing all the DJs beforehand. They're like, "What have you been up to? Like, how's your quarantine?" And I think every single one of them were like <laughs> making so music. Yeah. Oh, They're like making music, <laughs> making music. Why is there a barrier between you? <laughs> because it's social distancing. Why did you do that? Oh, well, see, I don't want him to get horny if I touch him. <laughs> <laughs> I am very hot and bothered right now. All right, Courtney. So what, what are your oh. highlights there, love? There, like, Onward was fantastic. Um, I absolutely love that. Um, I watched it on my laptop while I was sewing masks, and I'm like, all of a sudden, I'm like, leaking on my sewing machine <laughs> out of nowhere because like the like the set the like the really gets you in your feels scene hits it you does. kind of randomly you're like oh i thought that was gonna be at the end and you're like <laughs> all over everything it's just terrible boogers and just yeah but it's really good and um i've been playing way too much animal crossing <laughs> that's your shit way yeah too much like I, this game was literally made for me like I, they threw me a surprise birthday party. Like, my villagers in the game threw me a surprise birthday party, and I legitimately was, like, laying in my bed with my, my switch light in front of my face, like, crying. <laughs> I was like, this is the best thing ever. They remembered me. <laughs> They're like, oh, my God, they would have thrown me a surprise birthday party before. You were wow, able to that's get sad. it. Which wow. Is social yeah. And, yeah, I, yeah, I managed to get a switch light from, awesome. uh, yeah, I managed to get my hands on one. I, that was like my birthday present to myself. And 
I got Animal Crossing, and it's dangerous. It's so By the dangerous. way, for those of you that may not know, happy late birthday to the lovely Yes! Thanks! Five can, quarter century mark. I can rent a car for an affordable <laughs> price, and now I'm in a new age bracket. There you go. Don't get the insurance. <laughs> Don't get the insurance. Don't get excited about that. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, there, yeah, so Animal Crossing has been great. Not for my productivity, but just for my sanity, for sure. Um, this isn't really something that like came out, but it's something that's happened that is, I guess, nerdy and part of why I'm in this podcast in the first place as a result of all of this is I sewed an entire cosplay in like 48 hours. Yes, you um, did. My, yeah, I finished my Mara Jade <laughs> cosplay and I am working on, and I haven't told Jerry this yet, but I've started working oh. on... Um, <laughs> I started working on his uh his X Wing pilot jumpsuit that I told <laughs> him. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can only get so far without your measurements, but <laughs> we've started stuff. So yeah, there's that. So I've gotten a lot of really cool stuff done. Um and then I uh, oh gosh, there was something else I was gonna say. Oh, brains melting um, oh oh i was yelling at everybody in the group chat today about um how netflix just released um an unbreakable kimmy schmidt choose your own adventure episode this is great this is so good i was laughing so hard and i was able to pay attention because it made me do things <laughs> <laughs> that's always I felt, good. I felt productive <laughs> <laughs> I and love then, Yes. It's oh, hilarious. so good. It's great. There's the lovely scene in this that just made me so happy. Um, oh, God. There was another thing. What was it? Jordan left. Oh. Hi, Jordan. Yeah, Jordan's like in and out, in and out. Oh, gosh. Oh, there he is. What was it? I've been watching Midnight Gospel as well, and it's really good. And it, I love the fact that, like, I can watch it. And if you're not paying attention to the TV, it just sounds like this, like, philosophical podcast. Yeah. So, like, when I'm cleaning my house, I'm just, like, I'm still getting the messages. But I, when I look at the TV, I see all the, <laughs> the messed up stuff that uh, is actually happening. And it's just, it's crazy how they've managed to meld together these, like, kind of philosophical, just really good, like, answers to some life questions we all have with like Pendleton Ward like and I'm a huge Adventure Time love, fan love like all of the things that like Adventure Time would hint at but really could only get so far as like a children's show no boundaries in this one no boundaries Pendleton Ward is a fascinating human being and the show is testament to that it's so good it might be my favorite thing of 2020 so far. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 very appropriate for its time. Very appropriate. So excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So as we round, like get ready to round this out, and we'll go backward. Well, actually, we'll start with Saber just in case because he does have a draft thing he's got to do at seven. So uh, we'll just do some <laughs> solo dubs. You know, some priorities to wrap this up. I think I've done it already, man. Like, uh, the water cooler, me and Luke at WC Sports Pod. Um, you know, we we're we're on YouTube now, so you can find us on YouTube and um, you know Twitter and Facebook and Instagram at WC Sports Pod. We talk about all kinds of things, sports. The one I, I do have a gripe, and I, I will use it. the one thing that really aggravates me. Grind your gears. Yeah, yeah. beat me to it. Years about this guy right here. Oh fuck! Is when he talks about the water cooler. He t says that like we specifically like specialize in Cleveland sports. No, I do not. But every time, <laughs> every time. Would think I you want are Cleveland sports like expert. I want everybody to know this. I want everybody to know this. We know about everything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in all sports. <laughs> <Not just laughs> We do talk about Cleveland sometimes, but we also make a 
conscious effort to talk about all things sports. So, you know, like I said, we're on YouTube now. We got a couple episodes there. We got a whole library on the, <laughs> the Zero Dark Nerdy SoundCloud. We have, I don't know, probably 15 or 20 episodes. <laughs> I love how Brian put a pillow between you. <laughs> Pumping out more content at WC Sports Pod. Thank you. Cleveland's premier sports podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, I am from Cleveland. I'm not sure if anybody. anybody. All right, Jared, what are, you, what are your shout outs and solo dubs? Shout outs. Uh, I don't know. Uh, be kind to each other. Don't yell at each other in the line. And don't get pissy about wearing masks. This is like a difficult time for everybody. And don't make it difficult for everybody else. If I have to wear a bra, um, y'all can wear a mask. Yeah, yeah, you know. Because I don't have to do that, but I do that for the Why? sake of other humans. Oh, you can wear a mask for the sake of other humans. <laughs> Wait, but no, uh, as That's far as solo problem. dubs, I, I love all of you. I can't wait to, like, actually hang out with uh, my friends again. And uh, can't wait to see you guys again at Odin Brewing, uh, Stumble Stillskins. Uh, beer to go uh, revolution mill and speakeasy doing trivia for you guys uh, we love doing it and can't wait to see you again nice, nice. tip your fucking bartenders when they open these bars back up this is true yeah i'm rolling out of my safe little hidey hole for y'all i normally tip about 20 or 25 percent sometimes 30 percent i'm going i'm going double on that like make it I'm not make sense the fuck out of <laughs> thanks yep there you go <laughs> Matthew, what what are your uh, solo dubs there, good sir? Solo dubs. Well, Jerry said be nice to each other. I do miss you guys. Um, social distancing, it's weird that it's a common phrase now, you know, but we have to do it. Um, I'm clean. As long as you're clean, I'm down to drink and fuck with you guys. Ooh, Whatever. <laughs> Leaning well, <laughs> forward so they can see my little collection, man. <laughs> but um, yeah, so, so stay home. It's not. It's not hard. It's not hard. Just be nice. Oh. We're all doing. We're all doing the same shit. We're all going through the same shit. Um, I actually on this 100th episode find myself a single man. So. Oh, and lady. lady. <laughs> <laughs> hey, chicks like scars. Is that why you're not wearing a shirt? <laughs> uh, I never wear clothes because I'm at home all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> easy access, easy access. I like it. <laughs> I did take my pajamas off and put real clothes on for this. At least the, at least the top <laughs> half. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Courtney, what are your solo dubs there? Um, appreciate the little things. I think this has been a good time for everybody to slow down enough to like enjoy, the, like it just embrace the things they enjoy and without the pressure of being productive. And hopefully, people have learned a lot about themselves. And yeah, I hope when we come out of this, we can not go back to normal but like create a new normal create a better normal yeah. for all of us and that's kind of this has kind of been a jumping board for a lot of life choices for me and kind of been the, the diving board that I needed and I know a lot of other people feel that way so if you're debating whether or not you should do something as a result of this just just do it yeah. just go for it like clearly none of us are promised tomorrow Nope. A lot of people have already experienced that and this has affected them somehow and it's changed people's lives clearly in a very big way. So like, don't just, just do it. Just do it. Like, what have you got to lose at this point? <laughs> Cause clearly it can disappear pretty quick. So just do what makes you happy. Yeah. And yeah. So if anybody also needs masks and stuff, to practice safe social distancing and go about their lives and whatnot. Um, if you go to my Instagram, uh, it's the conscious cosplayer. Um, you can message me and request a mask and 
uh, as long as I'm not too overwhelmed, I got you. Excellent. So, yeah. Well said. Well said, Corey. Dennis? Um, I would say uh, take this time to, you know, try to hone in on some little things that maybe you didn't have enough time for before. Mm-hmm. Uh, not definitely not call myself a grill master, but I'm definitely figuring out my grill. That's for, that's <laughs> okay. for sure. Word. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's for, hey, that's man, for sure. So grill, grilling life. <laughs> <laughs> so figuring that out. And then um, just on well, top of everything. I, grill out at your crib. There we go. There we go. Just got to lock my dog somewhere because he's a wild animal. But uh, um, and then the other thing I would say is that, you know, I don't know wherever you're listening from or, or doing anything, or, you know, where, where, where we are, we're calling it phases and stuff like that mm-hmm. with the different phases going on. I'd say just, you know, be smart about, you know, whatever the different phases are. And, and obviously we're, you know, we're all in this together. So just do the, do the smart thing and, you know, do the right thing. So that'd be my biggest thing. And if you want to watch any uh, zero dark night nerdy gaming, go to twitch.tv slash XCX rad. Um, and I'm streaming on Twitch there sometimes. And, have some other buddies that hop in as well. So if you ever want to hop in, just let me know. There you uh-huh. go. Before uh, we sign off again, uh, you know, I want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of this amazing ride. I mean, 100 episodes. I, I like I said, I, it, it snuck up on me. I, I saw it Saturday, and uh, it's 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 an accomplishment. That's for sure. I know we're not you know taking home any trophies or award or even you know finances yet. I got a trophy. Uh, that's right. Oh, look at that baby. <laughs> she's she's obsessed she wants go ahead yeah oh no 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 we'll bring her on <laughs> but seriously each and every one of you are, are an integral and awesome part of the show and i mean this is at the end of the day something that helps keep all of us you know somewhat sane and, and normal-ish you know it definitely helps me um you know with my depression and anxiety again tuesday we are doing an episode uh matthew's going to be in on this with um Whitney Gray, as well as Jane Howard, two girls we went to high school with, all things CBD. They uh, work for a CBD company, so we're going to be answering questions. Well, they're going to be answering the majority of the questions as far as CBD for not just humans, but for animals too, especially dogs. So make sure you tune in Tuesday. I believe that's at yeah, 7.30 on Tuesday on the Zero Dark Nerdy page. Trivia Wednesdays with myself and Jerry on Wednesday nights. Another thing that helps keeps us uh, you know, sane and normal and at the end of the day, we really appreciate all the love and, and, you know, big thank you to everybody on the show, all of our friends, all of our family, just everybody. You know, we want to continue doing this. Hey, man, and we've, getting, we've been getting lots of love from people that actually come out, like, to our actual events. Like, I really appreciate you guys. We'll be back soon yeah. and uh, can't wait to see you again. But really appreciate the love from, from all of you that are doing the, the trivia with us. Really appreciate it. Exactly. Exactly. It's just little things. And, you know, just make sure you like, subscribe. It literally takes – a minute and a half out of your day, uh, you know, on Instagram, SoundCloud, YouTube, all that stuff. Every little bit adds up, especially iTunes, you know, give us a rating and thank you. Anything that we can do to help, you know, supporting local, supporting any of you out there, we, we will do what we can. Uh, we have some more episodes obviously in store for you. Uh, Matthew and I have been talking about doing a mental health one for a while now, and that will be coming into fruition very soon. I know Jerry wants to do one about D and D as well as star Wars, uh, star Wars, so Lots of stuff happening. So Keep more talking about episodes it. coming with Dennis and uh, Saba and Matthew as well. So, you know, more stuff in store. We're not, we're not stopping here. It's just uh, an amazing milestone that I'm very glad to share with my good friends here. And, uh, you know, again, uh, family and fans here in the U.S. And, and across the world. It's crazy that people in Australia and like Italy listen to our podcast. <laughs> it still baffles me to this day. But, uh, you know, if I, if, like I always tell people, if I make it, I want everybody to make it. So mm-hmm. stay safe. Continue practicing social distancing. Be nice to each other out there, especially on social media. Stop being assholes. You know, just <laughs> <laughs> not, I'm not saying everybody's being an asshole, but stop arguing over damn politics on social media. It ain't going to get anywhere. So, you know, people just. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Are any of you believe. like protesting the ship? The what? The, um, the opening of NC. Does it, no, does no. it look like any of us? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> You know, people are protesting that shit. Yeah. What involves me putting pants on? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You Let, right. Them Let them fly out there. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to sign off. Thank you for literally, this is our first live stream of a podcast episode. I think we did one like a while back ago. It did not go well, but this is our 100th episode that you've all been a part of. So thank you so much. 
And uh, we'll see. You I soon. put makeup on for this. I gotta, I gotta join this guy. He's gotta do his little fantasy uh, thing. Here we go. <laughs> One hub draft. <laughs> Yeah! Victory! And anger management? Fuck anger management.